Steve-O. Yeah. I remember there was an instance where he disrespected ODB on stage. I think at the same concert that she was at. Yeah, rest in peace, my yeah. brother, yeah. Rest in peace to yeah. ODB. And I think he said, like, I'm an old dirty bastard, too. And did some disrespectful shit on stage. And well, they, they, well, I heard you, you had lost it. I was fun. livid. I was, I was livid behind that because I didn't think a nigga, I didn't think no nigga would ever dare you know, have the balls to do some shit like that. Like, you got a lot of stupid niggas that just think shit is, you know, funny, but, you know, I was shocked, you know what I mean? I'm like, yo, nigga, this nigga's on stage naked, nigga. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't catch him, like, you know, he came from the back, so whoever he was standing around, it's like, how the fuck you wanna let a nigga be so close to you naked, like, this nigga could've been rubbing his dick on you or whatever, you know what I mean? But it's so crazy that, you know what I mean, I was on the sideline. I'm, you know, we over here on the sideline, but we watching. And you know, at that time it was it was it was a great show and you know we had we had my man Moms there. Mm -hmm. His oh, mom's was there. Yeah, mom's his mother there. was there. Oh, wow. So you know, boom, um you know, she was talking, there was a speech, and then he just popped up, and then it was like, when we seen it, it was like, everybody was like, get the fuck out of here, you know what I mean? But me, automatically, you know, I'm saying, yo, my brother dead, and this is what you doing? And you got his mother, first of all, you got his mother there. Huh. Niggas, you crazy? You know what I mean? It's like, you know, niggas could have bit, bit his fucking face off, like, you know what I mean? Just tore him up and threw him in the back somewhere, you know what I mean? But I just had to grab him and let him know, yo, B, we'll get the fuck off the stage with this shit, man. Like, and I guess he must have thought it was being funny or whatever, but he followed suit with what he needed to follow suit with. And he, you know, I made him apologize and all that because, yo, man, they can't do no shit like that, man. Nigga, niggas, her son is dead. You know what I mean? That's her son. You know what I mean? First and foremost, who the fuck you think you is to get up here like that? Like that, you, that's shit, some shit you just don't do. Like, like sometimes... Niggas play too much, you ever heard of that shit? Mm -hmm. And then you play too much and then a nigga fucking a nigga a nigga get at you. Because it's like now all all ties is gone. Now I locked you out. You're nothing to me now. I remember the I don't remember the exact award show. Yeah. But, the, but the one where he rushed the stage. Oh, that was that was authentic. Right. That right. was the Grammys. That was G oh, shit. That the was, biggest the biggest stage of all. That was G shit. You know yeah, what I mean? He, because he ran up <laughs> and, and what he said, he said Diddy was cool, but Wu Tang yeah. is for the children. That's right. That became part of the hip hop right. vocabulary. Yeah, that's if someone right. says something, something is for the children. They know exactly what they're talking yeah, about. Yeah, and, and that wasn't a premeditated line for him. That was what his heart said. You know what I mean? That's what his, his mind told him to say. Were you there? You know? Yeah, I was in the I was in the crowd. I'm, I'm cool, and I wasn't behind stage. Cause if I was behind stage, I probably would have walked out there with him. So like, yo, what you doing, my nigga? Yo, yeah, yeah, what up, my nigga? You know me, I probably would have. But now nah, I was shocked too because first of all, he had a suit on that night. Dirty don't wear suits. Woo niggas don't. You barely catch us in that kind of. You know what I mean? He even mentioned. He said, Yo, I just got this suit. Come on. You know what suits make you feel like when you throw them on? Right or wrong, you feel a, a you feel suit, like I a think, right? yeah he had a, nah burgundy right? joint. Burgundy, he had yeah, a burgundy, burgundy joint. He had his braids all all crispy and shit like somebody was pulling him from the back, straightening him out more. <laughs> so you know he felt like ten million dollars. I ain't mad at him because when I seen him, I looked at him like, oh you going you going there? All right, yeah you going there? So you know when he bum rushed it, yo it was just all a part of his. His his drastic steams to, to to get up there and let niggas see that suit. He wanted niggas to see him that night. Oh, so so you're saying that he wanted niggas to see him to see him. With, so because he didn't win, he was worried that no one's gonna see the suit. Yeah, <laughs> he's like that. He's like that. I mean, whether whether or not we would have won, of course you want to say you want to win because now you got everybody looking. But he wanted to be seen. That's how niggas are. They, you know, if you want to be seen, you do certain shit to jump out the box to flash on niggas. Uh, it was a real article that about some people who contracted um, AIDS, but before I was in the industry. So what they did was one of the girl's names they took out and put my name. Take someone such as Chief Keith, young kid, on fire. To me, I said the worst thing Chief Keith ever did was get a record deal. Hmm. That's just my that's just my opinion.